Okay, and up next, let's quickly discuss truthy and falsy values as well as short circuit evaluation in JavaScript because we'll heavily rely on these topics in the following videos. Now, I can tell you right away that if you're familiar with these topics, feel free to skip this video. I'll just quickly cover the major things we need to be aware of. Again, the whole purpose is we'll use that in React, and I really want to make sure that we're all on the same page. If you're familiar with these concepts, then feel free to skip that. And effectively, in JavaScript, we have falsy and truthy values, and it's going to be easier to remember the falsy ones, and those are false, zero, empty string, null, undefined, and not a number. With that said, do you have to sit here and memorize them? No, just don't be surprised when we use, for example, empty string in our conditions. Just remember that it is falsy. Now, why do we care about that? Well, because truthy and falsy values can be evaluated in the condition. So we can set up a condition not with just true and false, the Boolean value. If let's say I have hello, and as a quick side note, so these are the falsy ones and all the other ones are truthy. That's why it's going to be easier to remember the falsy ones. So falsy ones will evaluate in the condition to false and truthy ones will evaluate to true. So again, back to your example, if you have these values, so X, Y, and Z, and the first one is a string, a valid string, second one is an empty one, and third one is a zero. For the first one, if you'll set it up in the condition, actually you'll see in the console, X is truthy. So this evaluates the true. Again, instead of a Boolean, this is a string with some kind of value. Now, when it comes to a second and third, if you'll run this code, you'll actually see in a console that it evaluates to false. So in the console, you'll see Y is falsy. Now, why do we care about that? Because we also have short circuit evaluation. And essentially, it just allows us to write code in more concise way. And we can do that by using and operator and or operator. And as far as the and operator, it returns the first operand, basically this value over here, if it is falsy, or the second one, if the first one is truthy. So let's just back up a little bit. And let's start everything from scratch. So this one is zero, what it is, it is falsy, correct? And this one is what? It's truthy, because it's essentially a integer that is not zero. Now, if we have this and operator, then basically, if this one is falsy, it will be returned. So if you have two of them, and the first one is falsy, then that's the one that's going to be returned from this expression. Now, if it's the other way around, if you have truthy as the first one, then it will return regardless the second value. Something to keep in mind. And when it comes to OR operator, it returns the first operand if it is truthy, or the second operand if the first one is falsy. So as you can see, it's the other way around. If we have example of, again, 0 and 1, since this is falsy, the second one is going to be returned. So opposite of AND operator. And if this is truthy, then the first one is going to be returned. Hopefully, that is clear. And again, the reason why we quickly covered both of them is because we will use them in our React setup. And as far as function examples, since we're working with functions, if I have a function display name, and if I'm looking for the argument of name, if it is provided, then of course, I'll have the argument. Because in the return, I have a short circuit operator, I have the or one. And remember, if this one is falsy, basically, if we don't provide it, then it's right away going to return the second value. Now, if this one is true, then it's going to return the first value again, let's double check. If the first one is falsy, 
second one will be returned. If it's truthy, then the first one is going to be right away return. Hopefully we're on the same page. And up next, let's see how we can set up such functionality in our React components.